What's up guys, welcome back to RPG, where I cope with reality by pretending it's a video game and I'm the main character. Within the game of RPG, if you don't know, there's a lot of different mini games. One of these little mini games I call XP Share, which is where I share my experience with you. Candid thoughts on just what's going on, updates. Um, it's kind of like a podcast style. Later on, I'd love to have more people on and like have guests and stuff, but for now, it's just me in my room. So outside of XP Share, we also have Daily Quests, which is where I do kind of like a daily vlog series showing you the day-to-day -day actions that I'm taking to get towards my goal, which at the moment is to quit my nine to five job and become a full-time musician, a full-time creator. And um, other than that, you'll also, uh, segueing from there, you'll get obviously the music, music videos, lyric videos, um, freestyles, and songs. And um, I guess if this were, right, an RPG, the musician class would be where I, I would like spec the most points into type shit. And then uh, I guess content creator would be like the dual spec or whatever, but that's getting too in the weeds. That's, that's too, uh, whatever, but that's basically how I look at life because uh, life is difficult. And uh, if you don't figure out a framework to look at it from, uh, you're just gonna go crazy. At least I did, and maybe I am crazy, whatever. Anyways, today we're gonna be talking about uh, the recent success that I've been having with some of the content I've been putting on YouTube and Instagram especially, and just in general where I'm feeling, how I'm feeling about what's going on because the general idea is uh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but not in a bad way. It's more so, I know that I'm leaving a lot on the table because I am doing this 100% independently, like outside of my homie Alec, who's helping me out doing videos and photos here and there, and um, uh, you know, outsourcing certain things like actual music videos. I outsource, of course, to um, right now my friend Ricardo is uh, helping me out with a couple music videos for the upcoming RPG Volume One album uh, rollout. And um, outside of that, I do everything myself in terms of the music, in terms of the content, in terms of just like the stuff that you see from a consistent basis. It's 100% me. I'm producing everything. I'm mixing, mastering all the music. I'm editing all the content. I'm recording the videos myself, editing the videos, putting it on the social media pages. I'm the one doing the research on, you know, how to formulate stories and hooks and CTAs. And it's fun, obviously. I feel good knowing that I have an in-house production and that no one is going to be able to control my output except for me. But at the same time, when I have moments like this where you know basically uh i forget what day it was a couple like a, uh, about a week ago a couple of days ago i put out a video and it's going like mini viral right now where i basically did this like broke nigga freestyle where i was like uh rappers need to stop doing this and then i put a quote from j cole from one of his songs where he said instead of uh ain't nothing wrong with living check to check because most have to instead of capping why don't you talk about being a broke rapper so then i literally made a freestyle about what it's like to be a broke rapper and detailed my day as I went on. And at the end, I had a really good CTA, a call to action where I said, and if this entertains you, maybe gave you a little hope, then consider double tapping and hit the follow for more. And it worked. That same morning, I posted it at 10 a.m. by 11 a.m. Uh, that same day on YouTube, I had uh, over 200 subscribers extra i went from like 474 to like seven something and it's still going up i'm at like 757 right now or something like that so almost 300 subscribers in the span of a couple of days and um you know going from almost doubling my followers basically that i it took me what i guess like six years technically to get there even though i wasn't really focused on it but that's besides the point point. and then on instagram most interesting by the time i had 200 extra subscribers on youtube and i think it was at like 4,000, 5,000 views the 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 short video on Instagram, it only had like 10 views at the time. But then over the next couple of days, it just kept racking up and kept racking up. And now it's blown past YouTube and it's at 15,000, probably more by now, views. And I've gotten over, I think over 500, uh, over 500 followers on Instagram from that video. And so with Instagram, especially because I have the ability to DM people, which isn't, uh, which I don't have on YouTube, I generally do that. Whenever someone follows me, I take a minute to just do a quick, uh, voice message, yo, thank you so much, welcome to RPG, blah, blah, blah. I'll go through their page and like try to find something that's like personal to them. Cause it really is dope, like these are real people. These are real people. And how often do you get a random message from someone that you actually fuck with that's genuine, you know, that isn't just, you know, if you're a girl, I imagine you get guys DM you sometimes, but especially if you're a guy, outside of a couple group chats, if if that, if you have a friend sending you memes every once in a while or a spam account, you feel me, It's it sucks. It's like, damn, all these, you know, all these humans that are supposedly using this app, yet all I get are bots, all I get are memes. So people really appreciate it and it's dope because it helps me build that bond, build that connection, build that goodwill. So, <clears throat> so later on, you know, people will feel like they connect to me. And, you know, when I have to sell tickets to go on to go to shows or when I, have to, when I sell merch or blah, 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 it'll it'll feel more. Uh, it'll feel like they're actually supporting someone they fuck with, someone they know. And so it's a really important thing to do. I really live by it. I stand by it. But I literally can't do it. There's too many people. I'll go through five to 10 to 15 
followers and DM them and have a great little conversation or a little back and forth. And by the time I'm done, 20 more followers pop up. And I'm like, bro, I can't do this. And this is while I have days off from work too. Imagine if I had work, I wouldn't even be able, like it'd be impossible to even. So I don't know, over the next couple of days, since I'm gonna go pick up my son today and then I'll have him from today and tomorrow, I'm not really gonna be making content. I'm really gonna be spending more time with him. So I'll have time in between to just kind of like go on my phone real quick, send a message, you know, play with him, like interact, have fun. And then, you know, if he takes his nap, then I'll spend some time. And so um, I'm thinking about how to, navigate that because i know i won't be able to catch up to every single person considering how the trajectory of the video has been going like it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people and it takes literally at least 30 seconds to it takes at least a minute to two minutes to go through their page and send the send the voice message and going through every single person not everyone has their uh their page open for uh new dms though so some people i get to skip and it actually feels good because i'll be like fuck yeah i needed a break like okay this person has private thank god this person has private thank god and then i'll be like okay this person has a message i have to message them like it feels like i have to do it um because it's free it's free real estate like most people spend advertisement money and do all this extra stuff to try and get the amount of traffic and the amount of attention i'm getting for free right now because of a good video i did something that was creative but now it's interesting because the other end of it is that i'm bottlenecked by you know the fact that i'm just one person so whatever i'm navigating that but at the same time i don't know what the strategy i should use towards <coughs> excuse me making content in the future is because it's like okay that video did well but i obviously can't just keep putting out the same video over and over again and it was a very specific video it wasn't like one random video from something that i do all the time that's like a quick clip it was like no this is a very specific targeted thing so I've been trying to practice using the same formula, but just switch up the, the content, switch up the hook, switch up the CTA, uh, or use the same CTA, but switch the content, switch the formula a little bit. And I'm, I'm learning with that and playing with that, but it feels like I don't really have time to play with that because I have to just capitalize on this wave. But it's also like, okay, should I spend the next three days not making content and just go ham and DM every single person? Or does that then kind of stunt my momentum and then you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I genuinely don't know what the play is. I think in my heart of hearts, I think dropping everything and just DMing people is the, is the most effective use of my time right now. <coughs> but um, I could be wrong. And that's what I wanted to kind of talk about in this video. Seven minutes in, I'm kind of getting to the real point of this, which is like, I want you guys to see that although in, you know, 510, <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm so sick. I'm sorry. Like, and that's the other part. I'm fucking sick right now. It sucks ass. <clears throat> in the future when i have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of fans and blah 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 it's gonna look like i know what i'm doing which hopefully by that point i will know what i'm doing and i'll have a team <clears throat> but right now i literally don't know what i'm doing like i know what i'm doing but i have no guarantee that what i'm doing is effective this is the first time i've had something like this happen and there's no way to know if because right now because before this the framework was just put in the work and as long as you put in the work you win because you're doing the inputs and eventually the output will come don't worry about the output but now the output came <coughs> excuse me and i wasn't worried about what happened when the output came so now the output is coming in it's like oh fuck i didn't prepare for this so it's really interesting it feels like there's so many different directions i could go it's like okay do i drop new music which is what i did i just dropped a new single because i was going to drop it anyways that was the crazy part the video popped off two days before the song dropped, but I had uploaded the song two weeks ago. So it was just ready to go, which is fucking fire. So smart, even though it was like an accident, but it was like kind of a planned accident, if that makes sense. <coughs> I really shouldn't be making this video. I should be resting my voice as you can hear. It's fucking horrible, but we have to keep working. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give this video. I just want to make this video basically inspire anybody who's like going through that process. And I just want to let you guys know that like it really isn't overnight. Like. Although a lot of the success is happening very quickly right now, I know I'm obviously not gonna have like 100,000 subscribers, 100,000 followers like tomorrow. Like it's a slow gradual build um, every day. It's like coming in a couple followers every every couple minutes, you feel me? Every half hour or so, every couple hours. And it's cool, it's dope. I love the grind and I love seeing the steady growth, but it's also like, damn, I feel a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of fear and a little bit of scaredness of like, what if I'm missing my moment kind of? Or like, will I be able to create another moment like this? How do I capitalize on this the most effectively? And I guess the best advice that I'm going to give myself that I'm giving to you is to not overthink it, do what you can, control what you can, and understand that you will always be leaving something on the table and you're never going to make the most effective move. 
you're just gonna do what feels right, what you, based on your little bit of experience and little bit of knowledge have, you're gonna make the best decision you can for that moment and you're gonna learn from it and you're gonna just continue playing the game. And that's the whole point. As long as I can continue playing the game, I'll get better and better and better. And <coughs> I guess reminding myself that there is no winning the game is a good reminder. Like, yo, even if you did make the best decision, there is something that you're always sacrificing. There's always a, okay, if I do this, then that means I can't do this. If I do this, then that means I can't do this. There's always going to be a regret baked in. You have to choose your regret. So I think the regret I'm going to choose is not making content right now, not promoting my song too much right now, and just spending literally the next two to three to five days DMing every single follower that I can, every single new person that comes in. Because like this shit's crazy, bro. Like I've had people send me fan art, fan art. I think like, this is the first time this ever happened. Someone sent me a fan art. And I was like, what the fuck? You just, you just found me last night. This is incredible. And people sending me such heartfelt messages. And like, like it's, just, it's just overwhelmingly amazing. And it's like, fuck. So I'm doing my best to like not get caught up in the moment and just work. Just work, work, work. Keep your head down. Like, okay, this is cool. This is happening. Work, 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 work. And um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just had to document this because this is a fucking incredible milestone. And um uh, I want to look back on it and be like, yeah, that was definitely a big moment when I knew, like, I got this shit. You feel me? Even though I'm still in the same situation. I don't know how I'm going to pay for my bills. I don't know what's going on um, with life in general. Like, anything can happen. Like, I'm still in the same shitty ass fucking, you know what I mean, room, tiny ass, whatever. The point, I'm still in hell is the point I'm trying to make. But it's like, I can see the fucking, the fucking light, like, at the tunnel. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I'm like grabbing a foothold and shit. Whatever. This video is too long. Um, that's all I got. Peace.